So the number one area of buyer's remorse, regret, why people don't like whole life insurance is often when they purchase it, they are attracted to it for cash value, that's their goal, and they don't see any cash value up front, or they see 50% of their payment. They look at it and say, ugh, why would anyone buy this? Because we hear all of these oh so great things about whole life insurance, how the wealthy use it, how corporations use it, which is absolutely true. But then we're presented a policy and we just kind of scratch our heads and think like, why? Why would someone do this? What am I missing? And we're told, just look at the long-term benefits or something like that by the individual or company we're working with. The thing is, when we look at a whole life insurance policy, we can design it in a manner just like big banks and corporations where it is extremely attractive up front and people look at it and say, okay, I get it. This makes sense, I love it, it's flexible, all this good stuff, I can use it as a savings asset. Oh, and I have life insurance as well, this is great. And then we can design it in a manner where you look at it and say, ugh, I can, it's just not, I'm not feeling it. it, takes me seven years, 10 years just to break even, it's not attractive. So the example we have up on the screen, right? Here's a traditional policy, somebody's paying money in, taking a long time to get our money back, to break even. This is an old school whole life insurance policy. We'll call this an example of what not to do. Next, we see one that's a little better. We've got 50% of our money going towards insurance and the other 50% going towards cash value. This is decent, still not that great really. I mean, I, I personally look at it and say I wouldn't do it. Like the banks and corporations we work with don't do this. But then we've got the next example maximum cash value, 1090 split. There's a million different things we call this. This is a policy that is optimized for short, short term and long term cash value. Looks great. Even when we look at the next slide on the guarantees, still appreciates at a strong pace. So when we hear of these wealthy individuals, banks and corporations positioning boatloads of money into cash value life insurance products and the death benefit's important, but they're interested in the cash value, they're smart with their money. They wanna see it up front, they wanna see it long term, they want access, they wanna see it, not just hear about different bullet points and objections. Yeah, they'll listen, but at the same time, they gotta see it. People have a tendency to believe what they see, not just what they hear. So overall, the main thing to avoid that item of buyer's remorse, how do I make sure I don't have that regret or am wondering like, did I do the right thing or why on earth would anyone buy whole life insurance? Because whole life insurance has a bad rap in a lot of ways because of the policy design. If a policy is sold for, with a low cash value up front, high base premium, high, high compensation for the agent, for the insurance carrier, but low cash value for the consumer up front, that can often lead to disappointment, especially if the individual purchased it for cash value. If I bought it for death benefit, that's a different story. But what I wanna hit on here is if my goal is to purchase a policy for cash accumulation, I wanna grow the cash value, I wanna make it flexible so I'm not committed to a huge premium, I wanna be able to access the money for loans, repayments, retirement income. If that is my goal and I'm shown a policy that doesn't accomplish that, that's where I can have buyer's remorse, regret. So see all the different options. We can look at the bad choices, the good choices, the middle of the road, different companies. Our big thing is show options. See everything up front, different companies and products as much as possible because that does help prevent buyer's remorse. Kind of like Amazon. You see all the options, you can get anything from them. Not cash value life insurance, not yet at least. At the rate they're growing, we'll see what happens in the future. But overall, to prevent buyer's remorse, see the different options, make sure a policy is set up to accommodate what you want to accommodate, what you want to accommodate, what you want to accomplish, and then you should be good to go. So as always, I hope this helps. Reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any custom policy samples. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.